Hey guys, it's Thursday. And you know that magical, wonderful feeling when you go online and you're kind of not in the mood and you're kind of moody and then you look at your ex's picture and you're like, dang, he's gotten fat. Ooh, it's such a good feeling. Mm, mm. Mm. Happy Thursday. So, all right, this week, this is where questions that I answered that you sent me. So I only got a few this week, so here's some of them. One of them was, what do I do if I feel that my crush that I like might be lying to me about being in a relationship? Um, honey, if you are crushing on someone and they are in a relationship, you should just try to avoid. It's hard because you have that strong feeling towards them. Um, currently right now, I am kind of crushing on someone too and they are uh, possibly in a relationship I'm not really quite sure and I myself have found it very difficult to be able to handle that situation how to do that one because I respect and I'm very loyal to the whole idea of relationships because I have been cheated on by that ex that I talked about earlier that is fat now man boobs that need a bra I respect relationships, and so if I'm crushing on someone that's on a relationship, it kind of turns me off. So try and get that in your mindset. If you can't do that and you can't separate that, then maybe you need to separate yourself a little bit. And even if that friend or that crush kind of asks, hey, why even kind of distance? Maybe you need to be honest with them and just say right now, maybe a friendship might not work. So moving on, next question is, um, some, I get this question a lot of times because I once considered myself bisexual, um, is how do you, um, you know, feel like you're bisexual? This one, uh, it's Jacob, which by the way, thank you for your comment on saying that you like to see my beautiful face again. Oh, you're gonna make me blush. That is, sometimes is difficult because sometimes you might have gay tendencies, yet you still like women. Um, for me, I think I held on to the idea of liking women because I felt like that it was the normal thing, that's what society wanted me to do, that's what my parents wanted me to do, that's what my friends wanted me to do. I wanted to do everything what my friends wanted me to do, but, but not me. Um, once I kind of was more, I guess, I uh, hung out with more gay guys, and I went on dates with gay guys, and then even when I kissed a gay guy, I realized I enjoyed this a lot more. Um, Still, I do appreciate women. I appreciate them sometimes 10 times more than guys. Um, I think women are beautiful and, hey, I love boobs like any other guy. Um, but would I ever want to live the rest of my life with one besides them being an amazing roommate or best friend? Um, but would I be sexually attracted to them? Probably not. Uh, so you gotta think both ways. You might have great best friend tendencies, but could you see yourself kissing them? As a friend once said to me, Zach, do you do you get excited when you see them? I'm like, yeah. Do you want to hug them? Yeah. Do you want to kiss them? Maybe. And then she said, did you get hard downstairs? And if that was the case, then that means, woo, then you like her. And I said, no, I don't. So in that case, it was that I was seeing more of a friendship and excitement of a great friendship. So those are some of the questions I got this week. Send me some more. Also, are any of you thinking about coming to uh, Walt Disney World or the Orlando area for gay days? It happens the last weekend of uh, May into the first weekend of June uh, because some of us from LGBTV will actually be here in Orlando and would love to meet you all. But we're gonna tell you more about that on a later date. Anyway guys, that ends it for this week. Sorry for a long video. Send me your questions in next week. Um, and next week we're actually gonna do a topic. Which one will it be? I don't know, tune in next week. Bye guys.